channel. Um, today I'm going to talk a little bit about skincare. I am not an expert. I do not claim to know any of the answers. I'm coming to this from a standpoint of I've probably not been doing the right things and I'm trying to learn to do them better. Recently, I've been noticing um, on my way to work in the morning, you know, sometimes you'll <clears throat> slip down that car mirror and uh, check yourself before you go into work in the morning. And I <laughs> did that this week. And let me say, I was not happy with what I saw. My skin was just looking a little bit dowdy and dare I say, dare I say that there were a few fine lines. Okay, truth, <laughs> more than a few. <laughs> um, <clears throat> now, uh, I'm still in my 20s and I guess I was not expecting to get fine lines that early. Um, I know several other people in their 20s who are having to, you know, start combat combating aging just a little bitty bit. But I think that the, most of the problem is not so much that I have, it's not an age thing, it's a I have not been taking care of my skin sort of thing. Um, so anyway, recently just, you know, looking down uh, in, the, in the car mirror, which is so unkind, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you have ever noticed the phenomenon of you look at yourself in the mirror of the morning in your at your vanity, at your sink, in your bathroom, and you think you look great, you look perfect, you look refreshed, and then you get in that car. And I don't know what it is, whether it's the natural light or if there's some sort of turbo mirror they have going on there, but that thing will always... And don't get me wrong, always make you look worse than what you did at home in your bathroom. But anyway, I'm, I'm thankful to that very unkind mirror that I noticed this week that has led me to try to start taking a little bit better care of my skin. Now I will say um, that I have an upcoming wedding, so if you've paid attention to any of my social media before, whether that's on... Um, this vlog or my other vlog or um, on Instagram or Twitter or Facebook, you'll know that I have an upcoming wedding this year. So obviously I'm in that sort of mode where I'm trying to look better because I want pretty pictures this December. But um, <laughs> that does not come without a price and there's things that we have to do to make sure that we look good. I've not been doing them like I should, but it's never too late to turn things around. So um, I'm here to just tell you all a little bit about my new skincare routine, which there's like not really a routine to it. I'm just trying to do things a little bit better. I very much welcome tips and suggestions down in the comments box, but um, I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing and let you guys see what you think. I've always heard that removing your makeup at night is the most important thing you can do for skincare. Now, as someone who works, that's sometimes kind of hard to do. I always do so, um, but there are those nights when you come in and you're tired and the last thing you want to do is get in there and just remove that makeup. But um, honestly, makeup on your skin overnight is probably, I mean, I would have to think it was it's one of the most detrimental things you can do to your skin because your pores are staying clogged overnight. Any fine lines that you have, that makeup is filling in those 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 I mean, for lack of a better term, those, you know, cracks and creases and is going to make it stay in that form all night, which could end up making that wrinkle deeper. So I've been trying to make sure that I, I get, you know, all my makeup off and all that mascara off. Mascara to me, when it smears, seems like it might possibly be a little bit worse than just your normal foundations and all that seep into the skin. But um, as far as skincare, I've not been doing anything um, that's, you know, all that elaborate. I mean, I'm, we're talking, I'm, I'm using some pretty normal stuff. I actually... My makeup removers, I have been getting from the Dollar Tree. <laughs> now, I know some of you may laugh because the Dollar Tree is not what you, where you think about getting, you know, grade A 
cosmetics or skincare items, but to be honest, they have a lot of really decent things. And there's some items that really don't call for, you know, hundreds of dollars to be dropped on them. So um, one thing that I get pretty regularly from the Dollar Tree is uh, makeup remover wipes. Well, they have a couple different kinds, and one thing that I've noticed is that the Dollar Tree tends to not keep the same things around all the time. They kind of switch in and out depending on what kind of shipment they're getting. And um, typically, oops, head upside down. Typically, this is the makeup remover wipes that you will find at most Dollar Trees. So I end up getting this one quite a lot. It just says, I mean, literally just makeup remover facial wipes. They do contain vitamin E, which is really good for your skin. And um, on the back, it says that there, it's, this is the, the, the it would help if I could talk. <laughs> uh, on the back, it says that it is that. The fastest and most effective way to clean face and eyes daily. Okay. Its proprietary formula ensures softness and hydration. Vitamin E protects against external aggressions and premature aging. So, I like the anti-aging things. I mean, I'm not having to worry a whole lot about aging yet. But I always feel like if you start early, you'll have a lot less trouble in the long run. So these are okay. These are these are nice. But these are a little bit thinner than I actually like. And I'll just show you if I can get it open here. These cloths are really thin. And I mean they're 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 good. But I guess um, when I take my makeup off, I usually end up using probably, oh, three of these, three to four of these, just because it kind of, I don't know, the more, it loses its moisture and it kind of gets all covered in makeup to the point that it's not removing it anymore. So they're good, but that, I do end up going through about three to four of these a night. Now sometimes the Dollar Tree has these, which are Global Beauty Care Retinol Cleansing Cloths. I don't know if you can see that or not. And um, on the back it says Global Beauty Care Retinol Cleansing Cloths gently cleanse away skin impurities trapped within your pores. Lift away dead skin cells and evens out skin tones. Our pre-moistened cloths are formulated with retinol to help rejuvenate skin texture, minimize wrinkles, restore pH balance, and hydrate your skin. Use daily, morning and night, around eyes, face, and neck area for smoother, firmer, and more radiant looking skin. Now these, I like a lot better. Um, I've had just as much success with the quality of this this particular one as I have makeup remover wipes from, you know, Walgreens or Rite Aid or Walmart. Um, these actually have a little bit of an abrasive feel to them so that you feel like you're getting a little bit of exfoliation. And I really actually only have to use one, um, two at the most if I have like really heavy mascaras or something that day. But these are really good and I can show you these, which I don't know if you are actually gonna pick up on the camera or not. But, do you see that texture there? That really, really helps with makeup removal. And just overall, it makes your skin feel a lot cleaner than the other wipes. But unfortunately, that particular brand of wipe isn't available at the Dollar Tree all the time, but I'm really happy when it is. So if you've got the choice between the two and you're hitting the Dollar Tree, I definitely suggest with going for the one in the blue bag. As someone in their 20s, it's sometimes really hard to figure out what skincare 
is good for you because you're at this really weird phase where you don't need all those over drying astringent oil free things that you used to as a teenager but at the same time you don't need as much oil as a lot of the products include for anti-aging you need this weird balance of of a concoction that is in the middle of something that a you know someone much older would use and what you used in your teenage years and I've really struggled with finding a cleanser and a foundation for that matter but a cleanser specifically that kind of fits within that balance now right now I'm actually trying Olay's age defying classic cleanser and I actually found this at the Dollar General, and <laughs> you all are gonna think, boy, this girl, she just hits dollar stores, which isn't true, but um, a lot of times they're really convenient, and on the way to my house, there's a, a Dollar General, so I, I, I bought this, and I've actually been enjoying this one quite a bit. It has a really nice smell, which I don't know why, but ever since I've been a teenager and really got into skincare and cleansing, I really liked certain smells like soaps and makeups can really get me if they smell really good and this one just it happens to it also has a grit to it just like the um, cloths that I mentioned I, I really like if it feels like my face is getting really clean and I like the fact that it's if exfoliates my skin which it does but it does really really gently and I'll pump out just a little bit here for you to see. With just a little bit of grit. But, um, yep, it smells really nice. Wipe that off here. But I would definitely recommend giving that one a try. Um, Olay is a really old brand. Probably your mother and your grandmother may have tried Olay. It's been around for gosh, I don't even know how long. But at, at some point, I sometimes kind of feel like if a product has been around for so many years and so many women have used it with success that there may be something to it and it might be a good product. So I, I definitely thought it was you know worth giving Olay a try. Moisturizer has been another thing that I've really kind of bounced around on. I've not really known what is best for my skin tone or um, skin type because I'm I'm very like combination skin. All right, so one of the other things I've been trying and I'm going to completely butcher the name is what I believe is pronounced as either Lumen or Lumine or possibly even Lumine. <laughs> um, but it is a vitamin C anti-puffiness roll-on serum and this particular product really does do the trick. I have horrible puffy eyes and dark circles sometimes because I have allergies and if I have not gotten enough sleep, which is too often the case, this is completely necessary for me to look like I have had any rest at all. So. Um, this product I do recommend. I've been using this one for probably about, oh gosh, three months. This little bottle lasts forever and um, it has, it, it does a really good job. Now I don't know if there are other products that do just as good, but um, I do really like this one. And it actually has Arctic Cloudberry in it, which I have no idea what it looks like, but um, it's a good product. For my nighttime moisturizer, I have been using, um, oh, I think the brand, I, I don't have the original packaging anymore, um, is, I think it's Tony Moly. It's a Korean beauty product. And this is their banana sleeping pack. And it's really funny looking. The bottle actually looks like a banana. But this is fantastic. It feels so good on your skin and it's, it smells just like the, I don't know if you remember like when you were a kid and you had the banana popsicles. It smells exactly like banana popsicles. But the little top just comes off and it just, it just comes out the top.
and it's really a nice moisturizer but now it is thick so you're not gonna want to wear it under makeup that's why it is a sleeping pack but I like that one a lot I think I would probably use this one if nothing um, if it were just the smell alone so I really like it and one of the latest things that I've added to my um, beauty or health routine, whichever you want to call it, is a motivational water bottle. Now, you can buy these already made off of, you know, Amazon or eBay or uh, a slew of other sites, but I decided to um, DIY my own, and it is this thing. And so basically what you do is you just get a, a big water bottle um, and after you get your big water bottle, you just take a Sharpie and mark an hour per cup of water. Now, some people get smaller bottles than me. I probably went a little excessive and got a gigantic one that lasts um, the entire amount of water I'm supposed to drink. So if I'm supposed to drink um, eight eight ounce glasses of water, this is all I would need. Now, some people are now saying that you need a liter per 100 pounds of body weight and, you know, all, a lot of math. But uh, just going by the old standard rule that you need eight, eight, eight ounce glasses of water, this will do you for a day. And so I've got it started. Uh, if I got up at 7 a.m., by 8 o'clock I would have drank this. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, and by actually by 3, I'm, I'm, I'm hitting the refill stage where I can either keep drinking water or I can be done for the day. But um, I have always been someone that had struggled a really hard, I mean, I had really struggled with drinking water, and um, obviously I've not done that great today. But um, the day is not over. I'm going to still try to check this down. But water is so very important for your health. I've always been someone that struggled with drinking water. And while I'm not going to say that this is the correct fix for everyone or that it's even been the only fix for me as far as making myself drink more water, I will say that it is really nice to have a goal to go by. It's just kind of like a little bit of encouragement. You know, like, hey, I'm doing good or, you know, hey, maybe I need to do a little bit better for the day. And um, so yeah, this is this is my new like health challenge that I'm doing. And I would challenge you all to give the motivational water bottle a try if you've been struggling to keep yourself hydrated. It's really easy and all you need is a, a bottle and a Sharpie. So yeah, and once again, Dollar Tree. One, one buck, you know, for a little bit healthier you. Uh, well guys, that is all for tonight. And um, if you enjoy the channel, give me a like, share, and subscribe. Uh, I would love to hear your skincare comments, what you all think um, about your own skincare routines or about some of the things I talked about, or if you have any suggestions specifically for combination skin, because I've found that's really hard to deal with sometimes. And otherwise, good night. Say good night, Vicky. <laughs>